Uh, thank you, Speaker. I'm not so sure I heard the answer with regards to uh, vaccine passes and having to show that. But again, back to the Premier. Many are questioning the real reasons why you and other Premiers chose to eliminate the vaccine passes. What is the main driving force that resulted in the cancellation of vax passes? Lower COVID cases, fewer hospitalizations, high percentage of currently vaccinated people. On the surface, all are probably true. But now we've learned that the minister, prime minister rather, was secretly introducing a federally mandated vaccination pass for all Canadians, which means Dr. Trudeau could put his limits on out-of-country travel access of Canadians who have not chosen to be vaccinated. Once again, Premier, this is an affront to our Canadian Charter of Rights and Freedoms, that is, until the Prime Minister decides to rewrite it. My question to you, Premier, is will you explain your reasoning for cancelling the provincially mandated vaccine passes and the emergency orders for Ontario Jim. now, and will you be supporting a federally mandated vaccination pass? Remind the members to please make their comments through the chair, not across the floor of the House. The Associate Minister of Digital Government. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I want to be very crystal clear about it. There is no health data or vaccination information being part of the digital ID. I just want to make it very clear to the member opposite. Uh, we are saying yes, absolutely, to convenience and choice. And Mr. Speaker, as uh, Minister of Finance have said many, many times, digital first does not mean digital only. Uh, Ontario's digital ID program will be optional. Uh, the government is not eliminating or phasing out any physical forms of IDs, such as driver's licenses and health card. Uh, and as I've said, Mr. Speaker, protecting Ontarians' privacy is an essential part of our better customer service initiative. Uh, the Information and Privacy Commissioner has been engaged, what? has been engaged from day one, Mr. Speaker, and we will continue to consult as Ontario's uh, digital ID program works move forward. Thank you.